I want to give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, Haracha Ha Kwadash, and double honors to the elder apostles and bishops of Great Millstone. Honors as well to you, brethren. Shalom to you, supporters of this truth. That includes you, sisters, that support the ministry, and shalom to the elect. So, before I let the video play, I'm just have a short commentary. Um, this guy, he's from, looks like, he says he's from Sudan, but he just looks like the regular Jake that you see walk down the street, which proves, you know, if you're going, getting on planes flying, you, you would have to go into Sudan and various other places of Africa. You can't just go in one place, right? And he said that some of the brothers look like Kush and so forth and so forth, which means the Israelites are scattered. That, that was our whole point. So anyway, we went into a lot we didn't put in here. Uh, I wasn't able to put in because we having a discussion. We went into the book of Hadith, uh, Ayash, and various other books that talking about semen on a garment and the, if it dries, you got to shake it and pray over. It. They believe that the, the your sperm is created in your backbone. I think it's various other doctrines. And then he said Hadith is not a hundred percent legitimate. But then they say the Bible is not 100% legitimate. But the Quran, he claims, is not, a, if you claim the book, Hadith is not 100% legitimate, then you have to, you know, check the validity on that. So we kind of caught him in a whole bunch of discussions. And at the end of the conversation, he got quiet and started listening, right? So um, I don't know. We felt he may, may very well be an Israelite. I don't know. He looks like one. Right, he has the mannerism of one, but he has the accent, and he lived. He, he's from Sudan, you know. You know, so I asked him about the lip plate and all that stuff, and you know, you just got multicultural situations going on. That's why the Lord is going to uh, bring us back, right? And He's going to uh, separate the nations from the Israelites, you know. And that's the bottom line. And those other nations will learn off of the Israelites. So I thought it was interesting. We had a discussion. It was pretty long, but uh, he learned a lot according, you know, according to what we we had to say according to the scriptures. Whether he gets it or not, I don't know. But it seemed like he, you know, at the end, he stayed pretty much the whole time and listened to um, him being an Israelite or possibly possibly being an Israelite. Anyway, that's all I have on that show. I, I don't think that. Actually, I don't think that. But, but in the Quran it says. Uh, that's as it in the Bible too, in Second Thessalonians, what it says. And we, we have tried that this. I have revealed the book which is similar to what's already have. Right. You already know. Right. You've had all the stories that you already have. Right. So when you say similar to the Bible, I I'll see I'll feel proud. I'm happy that's in the Bible. Right. So the question is, if they now understand that the Bible for which we believe hasn't been tampered with, why aren't you just reading the Bible? Because that's where it comes from. So if you if you take a part of a book and make another book, that is not an authentic book, okay. Okay. right? Because okay. the Quran does come off the Bible, right? It comes yeah, off the, the it comes off some of the writings of the Bible, correct? It has the same stories in it, but it comes off the, the Bible. The uh, Abraham, I Isaac, Moses. I need to understand. It's, not, it's simple. Did the Quran come off the writings of the Holy Bible? Come off. What do you mean by come off? Uh, it's a I lot of the book. I'll yeah, is, is, there, is, there, is the writings the out of the Quran things taken out of the, that things that were written in the Quran were they written from the Bible? Yes or no? No. I'll tell you. I'll tell you. Just, I'll tell you that's a yes or no answer. No, it's not, I, I can't say yes or no for that. Well, we can prove we just read the Book of Kyle. This is what I understand. So I believe that God has revealed the Bible and has revealed the Quran. He has said some of the things in the Quran are also in the Bible. That's what I said. But that's, no. what I, that's what I believe. First, uh, Isaiah 8:20. 
we're going to show you. Because you can't, the problem with, you just read God is not an author confusion, right? So if you take, if God says, well, I give you this Bible, and I give you this Bible, you kind of mix it together, and then you come up and follow one God. So, you know, you got a people who follow one doctrine, another people following another doctrine. That is confusing to God. And he said I'm not the author of confusion, right? Right, it's great. So, uh, a question. Now, we are Muslim. I right. Believe one God. I believe that he's a prophet. Right. I, I, I'm doing the things I'm telling you that I'm doing. Right. What am I doing wrong? Oh, you're following the Quran. Okay, no. What am I doing wrong right now? What am I doing wrong? Oh, you're, you're, you're right. Like for my me. actions, like my actions. What, what's wrong in my actions? You have a beard. That's, that's, a wrong, uh, that's a wrong action? No, that's a good action. Okay, so one, no, we're, we're, we're going to read it to you, Isaiah 8, 20. Okay, no, no this is Isaiah chapter 8, verse 20. It says, to the law and to the testimony, if they speak not according to this word, this word, right? it is because there is no light in them. So that's what you're doing wrong. You're not following the word of God. You're following the word of God along with the Quran. Now, the problem with the Israelites, they are, get Exodus 21. The problem with the Israelites, you got it, read that. The problem with the Israelites is we've been to merge gods with other gods. We've only supposed to follow one God. That's why we read in Ephesians 4, there's only one God and one baptism. Read that Exodus 1. If you ask the Israelites, if you ask them which religion is only following one God, they would probably, if you ask them what the Islam, they're saying that they say no, they have to they have blasphemy. But in Islam, they don't have blasphemy. We do not worship anyone but God. So do so the Christians. No, the Christians, they're just not following the right way. No, they say they say that Jesus is the Son of God, or He is God Himself. So that's that's putting someone in the same level of God. So no. we don't have no one with that. No, no, you talking about the Trinitarian doctrine? Yeah. That's bullcrap. So that, that's what we don't believe like, that. We believe that God, the same God that you believe. In. Right. We believe in Him. Right. Okay? Right. So we believe in Him, and we believe that all these books. Yeah, like right. I told you, I don't want to repeat myself. Right. Right. So that's what. What, what am I doing wrong? That's what I'm. Right. Saying. You're following. You're following the wrong God. Yeah. And the wrong up. God. I mean, not the wrong God. You're following the wrong. Uh, the wrong, doctrine. wrong doctrine. Which one am I supposed to follow? Like what you just said about the law of eating. Um, the swine. We yeah. know we're not supposed to eat swine, but you ain't supposed to eat shellfish either. Right. right? Pray five times a day. That's not in the Bible. The scriptures in Luke uh, 21, 36 says, pray ye always. Because we never pray enough. We you. owe the Lord that much. I got you. Got right. you so I, uh, I'll tell you, I prayed five times a day. Six times. Six uh, things to say. My whole day from waking up until I go to sleep. Oh, okay, we, can, we can't times. fault you like we can't fault you because you pray five times a day. No, I'm telling you that like, right now I'm walking, I can be calling the name of God. I can right. say, like, I can thank God while I'm speaking, right? Yeah, but there's only one. But see, you can claim, believe you're following God, but you're not. Oh, that picture of Jesus said, you can play, claim you're following God, but our people pray to that. That Jesus, that devil, and he was put up by uh, uh, his lover. The man who put that picture up, uh, Pope Alexander the Sixth, son of Rome, his son, I mean, Michelangelo painted his lover to be that image and for us to follow. Now, this man slept with his own sister, Lucretia Porgius, right? And the Pope tagged him, team on it too, and lay down with his daughter. So, him and his father were sleeping with his son and his sister. And that's who they put up to be the Jesus. And our people follow that, thinking they follow the true God. But technically, they think they follow the true God, but they're not. And this is what we're saying about uh, uh, Islam. You think you're following the true God, but you're not. That's that's what we're saying. All you needed, the most high, which the scripture says, the simplicity in, in, the, in the Messiah, all you need is the book. Yeah. That's all you need, all the extra stuff, uh, the, the transliteration from this Bible. You got all these multiple Bibles and books. Uh, what's that? Uh, Ecclesiastes 12 and 12, yeah. the making of many books to know it. Yeah. Then you get confused because what's his name? Parag, uh, what's his name? Muhammad. What's his name? Par Parakar. He comes up on the stage. He's got his Bible and he got his Quran. And he's quoting out of the Bible talking about the children of Israel. So now that, now that we understand that the Bible speaks of the children of Israel and say they are the chosen seed and they are the people of God, why do we have this confusion with Muhammad, which is not mentioned in the Bible? And what prophecies did Muhammad? Predict because the word prophecy, the word prophecy means to say before something happened. Yeah. It's about 28 and 8. Like, oh, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I was gonna say, like, um, 
certain prophets, uh, when we, when we talk about, um, yeah, that Jeremiah 28 and 8, this, this, this society that we're in right now, this is a major society, right? That's in, in history, right? It's not the biggest society in history with all these different people saying all these different beliefs and stuff like that. This was prophesied in the Bible. You know what I'm saying? The Quran don't speak about that. And that was, sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off, but that's one of the main things what, where I did the history on because Quran, Muhammad, as they say, went over to the, to the Israelites and actually learned from them. The only thing he did not keep was the prophecies. And mind you, Muhammad was born 600 years after, after Jesus died. So you had the question, who you want to trust more? The people that were actually was there witnessing all these things? Or is someone that's actually just copying it in their own interpretation? Oh, did you, you did know that Islam, Muslim, they enslaved these people as well. You know that. Yeah. 600 yeah. years before slavery. Yeah. I know you got to know that history now. And they, they also, there's this thing called fuck breaking. Right? Which the, the, uh, the, the, the so-called white men, they learned how to keep their slaves in subjection because they learned how to do the slave trade and certain tricks of the tree from the uh, the Muslims, the uh, uh, Arabians. They learned that from them. Do you know the history of the Arabs and what they've done? I don't know. Hitchel three and one. I know that uh, you have a period before Islam spoke. Yeah. 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 Do you know they had a ship called Good Ship Abigail and Good Ship Jesus? And Abigail was after the uh, Islam. Is that really after the Roman Catholic Church? Which Islam kind of come out of to a degree. Especially the Islam we know today. That was a Roman Catholic religion. Can I read that real quick? Go ahead, read that. This is Exodus 20 and 1. It says, And Yahweh, God, spake all these words, saying, I am the Lord thy God, which I brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Right. So this is what the Israelites was known to do. Like, you heard of King Solomon? Yeah. King Solomon, when he worshipped the God Astaroth, the God Molech, he worshipped him, and he still followed God. So what he did is he merged the gods together, and he created his own gods. And that's all you see in religions today. They just merge different gods and create their own god. Yeah, yeah. Uh, like it's a god. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, they worship the cobblestone. The scripture says, thou shalt not worship any idols. You see what I'm saying? That's idol worship. Go ahead. Um, it's Proverbs 20 and 24. 24 yeah. It says, uh, man's horns are of the Lord. How can a man then understand his own way? Yeah, the first sentence to a Because, oh, go ahead. Can we read it first? Please, please. Okay. Because the Lord is the one set nations up and nations down. Uh, and I, I, I find it kind of uh, intriguing, right, that you said that the, uh, the Ishmael, Ishmael was the uh, Arabian. Yeah. How did you come to that conclusion? I'm kind of... Uh, <laughs> no, that was you. That, that's, 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 that's the truth, yeah. yeah. right? But they're different nations, right? So uh, my, my question is, who, 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 who is, what are the other nations? You know what I'm saying? What are the other nations? Like, is that written inside the, the, the Quran too? It says that the, it don't say that Ishmael is the Arabians in there, but that's something that you got to kind of do some research on, right? So it's like, well, who are the people that are in the, the land of India today? Who are the Chinese people? What nation do they come from? Because that's a nation. You can't go in the land. You got to go in the nation. So you can't say Iraq and Saudi Arabia. You know, back the Egyptians today, if you say you're from Sudan, that would have been original Egyptians. They got moved out of right. uh, right. uh, Egypt down and over to Sudan. Right. And that also goes from that slave. You had a, a sub-Saharan slave trade. For the transatlantic slave trade, and they were shipping people back and forth. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the uh, Philistine, ancient Philistine, they were, uh, uh, yeah, so they was like, sort of like, so that, so that, so that. you see, you don't look like an Egyptian. If I saw you walking down the street, 
You don't look like Kush. You don't look like Egyptian. You just look like a straight up Negro. Don't <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah. look like he stepped off the stairs. You can't go in the flesh, though. Mm-hmm. I might be like most uh, African. That's what I'm saying. But, but the, 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 the term Africa comes from a white man, mm-hmm. which is Leo Scipio Africanus. So how can you name yourself after a white man? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, the, the, uh, the lineage, your, your bloodline of who you come from, your ancestry. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. That's what the Bible is talking about. The common ancestry. The co- when you have a common ancestry, a common bloodline, you have a, a, a common God. You know, which every every everybody, every nation don't have that that mindset. Like the, the, the Chinese people, they don't have that mindset. You get what I'm saying? So we according to the Bible, we, the, the, the the Chinese people they come from Moab, right? Moab and uh, uh the Jap- Japanese they come from Ammon. Right? Are you familiar with Lot? Lot was Abraham's nephew. Yeah. Not oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Lot Lot ended up having having an escape from Sodom and Gomorrah, mm. right? And they were they were told to go to a city, but they were scared. Mm. Right? And then Lot, him and his two daughters, his two daughters got him drunk and they had a child with him in order to try to preserve his seat. You know what I'm saying? And one of the children had uh, Moab, right? And another one had uh, Ammon. Okay? That's why they had that mother boy. Ah. When you get that Down syndrome. Ah. <laughs> Moab was being predominantly the so called Chinese people. Okay? That's Stop having ketchup! Stop having ketchup! <laughs> Chinese people don't come. Okay. Easily. Right? Uh, okay, so. That's, the, that's a nation. The Chinese people, the, that nation, that lineage, that bloodline, sure. it comes from Moab, which is Lot's, uh, Lot, Lot's fault line. Yeah. yeah. The, only, the only thing I would say, I know you like, uh, you know, I learned about that, but the only thing I would say that I'm trying to say, uh, that I'm not going to go there. Is that we have to be Chinese, you can make an African that looks like me, you can make a whole Arab that looks like an Arab. So that's, that's the greatness of life. Yeah. And I, like, we don't get to know each other. When, when, when we talk about all these different nations, right? When you look at this, you're talking about the tribes of Israel. This is a nation. Yeah, exactly. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. This is God's chosen people that He delivered from the land of Egypt. Yeah, which you know that in the Bible, that the Lord had a chosen people. Yeah. Why would the chosen people start reading from a different book? The, the thing about the chosen people, the chosen people still exist today. And see, y'all believe that everybody can be Muslim if they want, right? Yeah. God didn't say that. God said he only chose one family on the earth. Did you know that? I know that, that uh, Israel is the uh, is the 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 and God says, I mean, why does he punish you for this? You are one of his creation. All of us are. Yeah. He said that, in fact, you are one of his creation. Right. We will, uh, I got the box for a second. We will show you. We'll read this real quick. I got, I got, a, I got a different one, but it's the same thing. Yeah, I'll read this real quick, <laughs> and then you go there. Uh, I guess the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 16. There we go! It says, and the Lord... Yahweh shall scatter thee among all people. Now we're going to find Islam and Christianity. Those are two religions he didn't want us to follow. Go ahead. Uh, from, the, from the one end of the earth, even, even unto the other. And, this, and there thou shalt serve other gods, right. which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, even wood and stone. Even wood and stone. That's a stone over there at Kabul. With the Kabul stone. Muslims worship the copper stone. We don't worship the copper. So who? Are, so who the hell bows down to the rocks over there? <laughs> no, we don't. We don't. Y'all resemble it. Y'all, y'all, yeah. y'all resemble it. Well, you know, worship means a reference. That's mm-hmm. all that means. So y'all reference the copper stone. No, uh, like uh, there's a stone in the copper. Right. right. That when I mean, we go there, we uh, we we kiss that stone. Okay. okay. That's so, worship. So, no, I'll tell you. I'll tell you. 
I'll give you an example. Okay. 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 We don't ask the building for enough okay? So, for example, if I want to pray now, I'll pray to the direction of this, uh, of Mecca, of the Kaaba. I don't want to the east. Yes. Sir. That's what we go to the east. Okay. Now, that's that's different than praying to the east. Now, we don't worship nothing. I don't worship. You know what the word worship means? Huh? You know what the word worship means? Worship. If, I, if, if, if your woman kisses you, she worships you, right? Okay, worship is I'll say worship is that for me worship like humbling myself. Oh, I got you. Okay, that's worship. Now according to some of my some of my Okay, okay. You do not question anything that God says. This is okay. all this is worship. Okay. Because I worship this is this is this is also worship. Right, right, right. Okay. I fear fear is also worship. Right. But to a different level. Like if I fear God, if I'm in a place and there's no one there, I'm, I'm about to do something wrong, then I stop doing it because God is seeing me, that's right. worship. Right. So isn't it confusing that God will ordain the Quran for you to go up and kiss a stone? But in the Bible, it says nothing about that. So if that's the case, why are we not just throwing out the Bible, mix them two together, because, uh, you have a little leaven of the whole love and truth and a lie. Is nothing but so if the Bible doesn't say kiss the stone, can I say this? Wouldn't it make sense if, if in the book of Sirach, right, right? And it says that the children of Israel are the, the, the chosen people of the prophets, right? Or are the people of the land of right. from the prophets. Wouldn't it make sense to follow that? Right. Some group of people other than right. something that was man made, like, you know, right. you know I mean? man made from like the Quran. Right. And, and here's my problem still with, with the Quran and Muhammad. Muhammad is the last prophet. But we still haven't heard anything that he prophesied. Right. We're still waiting on that. Okay. So, uh, if you, if you look it up, if you want to know. I did. I looked it up. I didn't see it. Right. Is America in the Quran? Oh, hold on. That, that's still not prophecy. I'll tell you one thing. I'll give you a hadith for example. You said don't follow it. You said don't follow everything. You said don't follow everything that he said. Who remembers what I said about I remember you said don't follow everything that he said. Yeah, no, I didn't say that. You didn't say that. He said it's not a Quran. You said it wasn't in the Quran. And I repeat myself. You quoted the Hadith, but he said it's not a What I said, what I said, what I said, that the Quran is preserved by God. Hadith, we have to know that if this hadith is authentic or not authentic. That's the future. Okay, wait. That's what I said. Did I say that? That's what you said. Recalled, but, said every, that, right? but every book in the Bible, we don't sit up there and say, with well, the book of James. <laughs> uh, so I got to be able to interpret that. That sounds confusing. <laughs> it's right. either legitimate or it's right. not legitimate. Yeah. That's it, brother. So I'm just telling you, I, like in the beginning, I told okay. you that I'm a regular Muslim. Okay. Okay. Like stuff you say, other people don't know, right? Right, right, right. You, follow, you don't know the same as you do, though. Right, exactly. You're in a higher level. Exactly. I'm telling you, I'm a regular Muslim. Okay. okay. So you got to come and bring a scholar back. Yeah. You know, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, 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 that's the right, right thing. thing. Oh, <laughs> I am just So my question, my yeah. question is, is America in the Quran? I can't answer that question because I don't know. He's, he's not a scholar. Well, I do know in, one, in the Quran, it did say somebody come back on a horse or something like that. No. I, I'll tell you, uh, okay, so it says that uh, he's talking about the Arabs. He said that the Arabs, uh, said that the Arabs, I mean, that these, the ones that were uh, uh, maybe naked, or like the Arabs, he was describing the Arabs back then, that one day they will be competing on how tall their buildings are. He's talking about the Arabs. Is the Mahdi, you mean the Mahdi? Yeah. He was talking about Mahdi? Yeah, he's taking that out of the Bible. Right, so exactly. Right. That's why we're right, exactly. Because they, they basically just represent the Yeah, so really, they created their own book instead of just dealing with the book that was already written. What we're telling you is just, just deal with stay with the right book. You don't have to see that. So I just heard of. I don't know. I don't. I don't know. I don't do this. You don't have to see that. 
said, uh, actually, uh, I'm doing something wrong. Okay. So I'm, I'm not, that God said, when we talk to the people of the book, because there are people of knowledge, like you guys, right? you guys are of knowledge. So he said that, that talk to them with knowledge and wisdom. Right. Okay. And me personally, I like the, I like the knowledge and so I'm not supposed to be talking so What I'm doing now is wrong. No, no, that's not according to the Bible again. No, I'm saying according to the Quran. I'm saying according to the Bible. So I'm not, I'm supposed to, like, if I want to come here, maybe I'll listen. But I'm not supposed to talk, like he said. So no, I'm that's, not really, that's too yeah. many restrictions. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. If you're coming to learn the Bible, man, no, cause, cause you can I access mean, whatever you no, need to access. The thing is, like, this is a, it's a serious moment. Like it's a matter of oh, what's the truth. I know what he's saying, like on a debate. Yeah, oh, yeah, you keep yeah, quiet. Yeah, but we're trying to, we're, we're trying, we're trying to, we're trying to dissect it. There's so you, oh, what the Bible says. Yeah, the truth about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You know what I'm saying? And we're making it up. So you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah. Like, you know what so uh, I got uh, I got uh, a lot of information from right, right, right. Yeah. and yeah. I'll I'll probably go back home and look up Israelites, look up Israelites, yeah. the true history, the true history of the Israelites, because we gotta understand God is not an author. You know, if you set a rule in your house and you had a book for your children, it said clean the kitchen, clean the basement, fold the clothes, do the laundry, and then somebody else come with a book, don't fold the clothes, but you can clean the kitchen. Wash the windows, but don't mop the floor. That's going to be confusing to the person that's living in that house, correct? And this is what we're seeing happening. It's either if you're going to follow the Quran, you stay with the Quran. If you're going to follow the Bible, you stay with the Bible. But what we're trying to tell you, what's in the Quran came out of the Bible. But what's in the Bible didn't come from the Quran, except what was put in there. So we got nothing, no writings or any artifacts from the Quran that was placed in the Holy Bible. Yeah, it don't say nothing about Muhammad, another God will come. It does say that one like unto your people is going to rise, you know, and unto him so the gathering of the tribes come, right? But what we keep saying is if Muhammad worked miracles, okay, that's right. what they're saying. But what we're saying is when you're dealing with the Bible, biblical text, you're dealing with prophetic books. And, and this... Yep. Do you know what, pro what prophetic means, what prophecy means? Oh, we, we, yeah, we broke it down earlier. Uh, uh, and that's that's the point that I wanted to go in, uh, like you just now said, right? The, 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 the Bible is, uh, is past present. Right? That's why uh, a couple of times I actually be asked, um, like, like, for example, right? If I, if I would have asked, I'm not, put, I'm, not, I'm not really asking, I'm asking you. But if I were to ask, what what is the last, um, what, what is the last biggest prophecy that's gonna that's gonna happen here on earth? You know what I'm saying? According according to the Quran, it's probably it's probably not in it, and that's and that's the point because when you when you, when you deal with the, uh, the the prophecy, it's very very important, right? Very important. That's what we are here for in general. It's the one edifying prophesy. Right, like, because, uh, because, if, because things get ready to start getting, getting rough out right, here, as you know, you see, you see things turning and, and change yeah. real fast. I mean, we, of, I mean, we pretty much in World War Three, pretty much we've been yeah, in there for yeah. a long time. Oh. But you see, things is things are starting to happen now, yeah. right? The Bible yeah. prophesied about World War Three. That's what I'm you saying. It was fun. That's what I'm saying. So, uh, uh, and we, we, you know, we're dealing with a time of inflation. Is inflation going to come? You know what I'm saying? Probably not, but but we but we have we have been telling we have been saying through the spirit of Yahweh that yes inflation is going to happen. Plan, we, we call it plan plan pandemics are going, are going to happen. We we been plagues, famines, you know what I'm saying? All that stuff is going to happen. Very important, right? So that's what we that's the kind of what we our job is as messengers to put that I guess if you can say put the bug in your ears on hold. So you can so you can go home and learn it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And that's up to the Lord whether you learn it or not. Yeah, there's no apostle, but um, <laughs> well, apostle means to be sent forth. Exactly. So yeah. again, the brother summarized it. And he said it. I ain't got to say no more. Uh, but yeah. just to add to it, the whole point is prophecy. Right. We can't sit up there and say we believe in Allah, but there, there's nothing for us to do but just keep praying. 
James, the second chapter, says faith without works is dead. So there's things that we're going to have to, there's a tribulation coming that we're going to suffer with. Yeah. Right? And then you're going to need faith you at the end. Because everybody, that's a Christian, that's really kind of a Christian doctrine. All you got to do is believe, and the Lord will <laughs> deliver you, and you will be set free. No, nah, man, but Revelation 2 and 10 said some of you shall be cast in prison. He talked about his own. Yeah. And he said, be faithful unto death. And I will give thee a, a, a crown of life. That this is this is what the prophecy is saying. So I'm not just saying Islam, I'm saying Christianity too. You can't walk around just saying, hey, I believe in Jesus and I believe in uh, Allah and I'm going to be protected. It don't work that way. If you were a true messenger or you were a true man of the Lord or even a sister, you're going to go through hell. You're going to get tested. You're going to get tested, man. It's the, get tested. It's, and, and the reason for that is to make you strong. Stronger, especially for these times that's getting ready to come. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's one of that's, at least that's one of the main reasons for it. Is that good, uh, This is uh, Jeremiah 28 and 8. Here we go. The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. 